To differentiate vector functions, it is very important that we know about the differentiation rules for this vector function. Now let's say we have u and v, they are differentiable vector functions of t, c is a constant vector, and then small c is any scalar, and f any differentiable scalar function. Then we'll take a look at all these rules. Well, in the first glance, it seems like almost the same thing as scalar function. But let's take a look. Here, when we differentiate a constant vector, we will get a zero vector. Not only number zero, not a scalar, but a vector, zero vector. Now, if we are doing multiplication between a vector with a scalar, that depends on the scalar that you multiply is just a scalar or it is a scalar function. If it is just a scalar, we can just bring out the c and differentiate the u, we get c u prime. But if the scalar function, it is a differentiable scalar function, okay, we'll apply the product rule. That is, we'll get f prime t u t plus f t u prime t. Now, if we have summation and subtraction between the two vector function, what we need to do is just to differentiate one by one. So we'll get u prime t plus u v prime t if we differentiate u plus v, and we'll get u prime t minus v prime t if we want to differentiate u minus v. Now, be very careful when we talk about differentiation between the two vectors. As we have learned before, the multiplication between two vectors, there are two types. One is the dot product, and another one is the cross product. Well, same as scalar function, we apply the product rule. Somehow, take note of the position of the vector. It, is, it doesn't matter, okay, for u dot v, if we differentiate u dot v, we get u prime dot v plus u dot v prime. It doesn't matter if you just interchange the position here. It means you get v dot u prime plus v prime dot u. It doesn't matter because we'll get the same answer. But when it comes to cross product, do not ever change the position because once you change the position, you will get the wrong sign and you will get the wrong answer. Now lastly, when it comes to a chain, or we want to use the chain rule, you have a function, a scalar function inside the vector, then we will have f prime t multiplied with u prime f t. So besides all these differentiation rules, okay, we also have a theorem saying that if we have a vector function that is differentiable and it, have, uh, it has a constant length, then it is the dot product between itself and also its derivative will become zero. Same goes to the inverse. So in other words, if RT, let's say I use RT to represent a vector function, if RT it is differentiable and it has constant length, then it means this R and its differentiation, they are perpendicular to each other. Well, same as if they are perpendicular to each other, it means the RT it is differentiable and have constant length. Now, for example, show that the RT, which is sine t cos t3, has constant length and is orthogonal to its derivative. So we'll, we'll take a look at the length. We find the length first, okay? That is square root of sine t, you square it, plus the square of cos t, plus three, three square, well, this one gives to one. So we have square root of 10. That is the length of r t. So you can see from here, we don't have any more t. No more t means the magnitude is a constant. So when it has constant length, okay, we want to show that it is orthogonal to its derivative. So before we can show it, we have to find its derivative. So we'll use the v to represent the differentiation of r. Okay. Then we differentiate sine t, we get cos t, 
we differentiate cos t, we get negative sine t, and we differentiate 3, we get 0. Now let's find the dot product, rt dot with v, so sine t dot, sorry, rt dot with v, we get sine t by cos t, plus negative cos t sine t, okay, as we can see from here, plus 3 by 0, that is 0, so this one and this one, they will cancel each other, plus 0, you get 0. So when we get 0 for the dot product between these two vectors, it means this two vector is orthogonal to its derivative, uh, sorry, it's orthogonal to each other.